we're going to evaluate the integral of x sine x. This is a very typical integration by parts problem. Here is the formula for integration by parts in case you forgot it. So we're going to need to find a few pieces, u and v and du. How do we find these? Well, you've got to remember that u is a thing that we select, and then we'll take its derivative to find du. Also, dv is a thing that we select, and we integrate it in order to get v. Now, since we take the derivative of u, and that derivative is present in the integrand, in the parts formula, it's typically a good idea to pick u as something that will get simpler when we take the derivative. Now, our options are x or sine x. Sine x is probably not a good choice because its derivative is just cosine x. That's not really a whole lot simpler. So the obvious choice for u would be x. If we set u equal to x, then when we differentiate both sides, we'll just find that du equals dx. The derivative of x is just 1. Since we chose x to be u, that just leaves the rest of this integrand to be dv, and we'll have to integrate it in order to find v. So we have that dv is sine x dx. That's just the rest of this integrand. Integrating sine x is not too difficult, which is good. Of course, dv needs to be something that we can integrate, because we have to integrate it in order to get v. And the integral of sine x is no problem. Is it cosine x? Well, not quite, but that's close. If we take the derivative of cosine x, we get negative sine. We want to get positive sine, so to fix this, we just need to throw a negative on there. So when you integrate sine, what you get is negative cosine. Now we're ready to use the parts formula. So our integral is equal to u times v. u is x, v is negative cosine x, so that's negative x cosine x minus the integral of v du. V is negative cosine x, so we've got the integral of negative cosine x, and du is just dx, and now we're almost done. So what we've got here is negative x cosine x. Now let's just do the integral. We've got minus this integral, but the integral has a negative in it. So let's take the negative out, which will turn this minus into a plus. So plus the integral of cosine. The integral of cosine is just sine, so this is just plus sine x. And then we need our arbitrary constant, plus c, that's it. The integral of x sine x, we just apply integration by parts, and we get negative x cosine x plus sine x, and then since it's an indefinite integral, we also have plus the arbitrary constant c. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or video requests. Feeling the stratosphere